In this video, we'll look at Visual Studio's Table Adapter. A table adapter is a communication tool between your application and the database. Table adapters can be created during the creation of a data set with the configuration wizard. Table adapters can also be created from existing data sets using the table adapter configuration wizard, or by dragging objects onto the data set designer. We'll look at these techniques beginning with a new project. Let's go to File, New, and Project. Visual Basic Windows Form Application, you'll change the name, the location, the solution name, and choose OK. We will use the Data Sources window to add a new data source. If your Data Sources window is not showing, you can activate it using View, Other Windows, and Data Sources, or use the Data Sources key combination of Shift-Alt-D. Choose Add New Data Source. For Data Source Type, choose Database. For Database Model, choose Data Set. We will use the Karate SQL file. You can choose New Connection or use the existing connection. Choose Next. We do want to save the connection string. Choose Next. We will choose two tables this time, Members and Payments and finish. Your data source has been created on the left in the data sources window. It's also shown on the right under the Solution Explorer Karate Dataset .xsd. Let's open the data set either way. In the data set designer you could use the tool set your toolbox to drag a data adapter onto your designer or you can right click on your designer and add a table adapter. We're going to create a query here. Your data connection will be the Karate connection. We will use SQL statements. Here you can enter your SQL statement or use the query builder. I'm going to choose the Members and Payments tables. Use the Shift key to select more than one table. Add the tables to the Query Builder, and then I'm going to close the Add Table dialog box. I'm going to modify my query to select all fields from Members interjoining Payments on the ID. I'm going to execute this query so you can see the results. Now I'm going to modify my query. I'm going to add a WHERE clause. To choose last names that start with the letter C. I'm going to use LIKE and I'm going to use a wildcard. I don't want to hard code this for my real program, so I'm going to modify this now to use a parameter. I'm going to call my parameter name, and I'm going to concatenate that. Now my name appears and asks me for the value, and I have the same results. So I'm finished with my SQL statement. I'll choose OK, and my SQL statement is now available here, and I will choose Finish. Now I have my data table 1 and my table adapter shows here. I'm going to go to my form now for in my Solution Explorer. And in my data sources window, I'm going to take my new data table 1. I'm going to drag that onto my form. Now Visual Studio has given me a text box for my name, this is my parameter, and a button to automatically fill in my data grid. Let's run this and see what happens. I 
I can enter the first characters of the name and choose fill and it gives me the results. Now if you'd like more control, you can code your own text box and fill button. I'm going to choose to add a button to my form and a text box. I'm going to code the fill, so of the current objects. I'm going to choose my t data table adapter. And I'm going to choose to fill. And I'm going to fill my data table. and I'm going to fill it with the value that I place into my text box. So now I will use my own controls that I created. Now there may be times when you want to go back and change your table adapter to do that Go back to your data set designer and then find your table adapter component of your data table here. Right click and go to configure and there you can make changes to the table adapter itself. This video was an introduction to the Visual Studio table adapter.